Last week, the San Francisco-based EdTech robot manufacturer Roybe announced a 4.2 million seed funding round to ramp up manufacturing in advance of their product launch. Roybe makes a small Furby-sized robot that can talk, listen, see with a built-in camera, display images on its stomach, and think on its feet with machine learning software. The device can even determine whether a child is happy or sad and curate content accordingly. It's intended as an educational companion for children aged 3 to 7. Hi, my name is Henry Kronk. I write for eLearning Inside. This week on Ed Technically, I got in touch with the folks at RoyB, and I'm going to dive into a few of the features and concerns around the product, along with plans for manufacturing and its future launch. So the RoyB robot comes loaded with over 500 interactive stories, lessons, songs, and a 70,000 word vocabulary. All of this is available in three languages, English, Spanish, and Chinese, and can only be accessed via voice. RoyB does not have a screen. The product also comes with an app for a parent's mobile device where they can pre-approve content and get regular progress reports. The company has gone through numerous accelerators, including XEDU in Finland, and according to RoyB founder and CEO Elnaz Saraf, the concept behind RoyB is heavily based on Finnish education practices. We got in touch over email. Saraf wrote, quote, Like Finland's model of education, Roybe focuses on using play-based learning to teach children. Children are more likely to absorb information and want to learn when they are having fun. Roybe encourages learn through play for students to enjoy the learning process using games, songs, and stories. Finland also prioritizes having less homework and removing the pressure to do extra work outside of school. Roybe Robot provides a flexible schedule so that children can continue learning at their own pace. End quote. Roybe also has plans to launch an additional crowdfunding campaign later this summer to raise additional capital. From there, the company hopes to launch pilot programs throughout North America and partner with retailers to begin to offer the device in stores. Saraf has a history with Internet of Things childhood products. She launched iBaby, a smart baby monitor device, back in 2013. So besides the challenges of launching any product, RoyB will potentially encounter other headwinds that are more particular to 2019. Two federal court cases are currently pending, one in Seattle, one in Los Angeles, against the Amazon EcoDot Kids Edition. The initial suit filed in Seattle on behalf of a Massachusetts girl alleges that the devices record and voice print minors without parental consent. While the suit makes no claims about individuals who purchase the devices for their families, which would indicate consent, it takes issue with the fact that the device immediately begins listening and recording upon hearing a wake word, regardless of who speaks it. Roy B. says that the suit doesn't apply to their device because it does not listen consistently and it does not share any data with third parties. Parents can also decide to turn the camera off altogether. Roy B. has yet to be mass produced and to date it has been tested only in small focus groups, but Saraf says larger studies will be possible once it begins to be mass produced. After that, the company plans to expand its curriculum and to work as an aid in the classroom. As Seraph concluded, quote, Ideally, I picture children using Roybe as a home companion to continue learning outside of school while having fun. I also see Roybe becoming a part of the classroom as a teacher's assistant. 
teachers can customize Royby's content to fit with their lessons and create excitement in the classroom. Currently, Royby is focusing on language learning and will later expand into STEM. This has been Ed Technically. My name is Henry Kronk, and I write for eLearning Inside. If you liked this episode, please rate and review, and if you'd like to hear more, please subscribe. Also, please keep in mind that this show is available as a video on our YouTube channel and also as a podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, and Spotify. The basic content for this video first appeared as an article on eLearning Inside, and if you would like to hear more about online courses, technology in the classroom, and edtech in general, please be sure to check out our site. If you'd like to get in touch with me, please send an email to henry at elearninginside.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at elearninginside. Thanks for listening.